Today I'll be playing some more PUBG and I'll actually be going ahead and playing a solo match today and trying to go ahead and get my second chicken dinner. So at the end of this video I'll actually be showing you a small clip from when I got my first chicken dinner on solos and uh, it's basically only like the last two minutes of it but I'll show you how I got my last couple kills or my last two kills before the game ended and how I barely won. But we're going to go ahead and load in game and hopefully we last and actually get this chicken dinner. Otherwise, then we're just going to try again and again and again and about 150 more times until I get another chicken dinner. But so in other news, I actually have some great up and coming videos. I just have to wait for them to finish rendering. Uh, one of them claims that's going to take about 10 hours. So hopefully it doesn't take that long. And whenever it comes out, I have to find a converter to actually convert the other video that I need because it didn't convert right. But while we wait for that, we should be getting everything on and popping just momentarily. I need it. I want a gun. Get out of my way. Why is people constantly walking away? Gun, 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 ammo, bullets. Yep, so it seems like, oh, they're good. No, that's the flow. That's not even real. Alright, so. Couldn't start off with a gun like I wanted to. But let me go ahead and look at the map and see which angle we're going to be coming in from. I feel like, go oh, we're coming in from top side. Alright, so. I'm going to try and land. Go over here somewhere. And just hope that the circle ends somewhere near me. So, I have noticed over the last couple of days that the game actually had an update. I don't exactly know what it entails, but hopefully we will find out shortly. So probably by the next video that may come out around the same day or so. And, oh, somebody else is going to be dropping with me. I'm just going to go ahead and just free glide all the way over to where I need to go. And once I make it there, then I'll be A-OK. -okay. So a cool tip that me and my friends actually found out is you don't want to land in the most heavily populated areas or in the area where the plane first, where the doors first open and everyone, there's somebody else here with me, and everyone is going to be, so like right now I only got one one person so far two people I'm gonna just continue to glide for over there it looks like I only got about two people near me so I'm gonna hurry up and try and glide over to one of these houses and hopefully I can start off the game with at least a gun in the vest or well correction a gun in the backpack because I find that I need a backpack way more than anything in this game other than a gun so, go ahead and slow down some. I'm probably going to go right into this first house. Right here. And the map is closing over there in the five minutes. So, right after I at least find a gun, I'm going to go ahead and start making my way in that direction. So, that's a stock. I don't need that yet. Get gun before I go grab a stock. Ants. Don't need those. And there's no gun in this house at all. So, I also noticed that in... Wow, I'm glitched. Alright, there we go. So, I also noticed that in certain areas, the loot actually changes. So, you can go to the same building about two or three times in a day, and the loot will change constantly. So, oh, there's some black spikes going on. So, like, one area might have a whole bunch of guns. One area might have... Oh, that's a really bad, like... Uh, one area might have a whole bunch of guns, one area might not have any at all, not even a backpack or any other items. That actually seems like what's going on with me right now, where I can't find a single uh, boots. I don't need boots right now. I need to get them. Ooh, this lag in the game is bad. Very bad. 
So another tip I picked up. Ooh, what is this? Picking up that. Don't need a pistol mag right now because I don't have a gun. But uh, another cool tip I picked up, well, me and my friends picked up on is when you're playing the game, it's best to go ahead and close all the doors behind you. Pistol, there we go. So the reason why you close all the doors behind you is because if you want to trap somebody, the best way to trap them is to make them think that there's loot in the house when there's really not. You just want to like leave everything open for them. Go ahead and equip that right now. And did pistol mag, quick throw. All right, bet. And oh yes, I got an AKM. So, as you can see now, now I need a backpack, so I'm going to swallow my shirt too. Get my, that is a very, very ugly shirt, and it looks very shiny. But I'm going to go ahead and keep going. Oh, so I see the new thing that they put on the map. So, if you look next to the map on the bottom left-hand corner, they actually change where your guns actually set at on them. Uh, instead of at the bottom, like when you change them, they don't show up there anymore. They actually show up on the left-hand side. They don't show up at the bottom where it tells you your ammo. They actually show up on the left hand side of the map now, which is pretty, pretty cool. So, there's already about 75 people left because I'm more than sure a lot of people all jumped together in the same area and they all thought they was going to live. So, uh,. When I first got my when I got my first chicken dinner, I actually laid on my belly about the majority of the game, and I tried to stay basically at the edge of the circle where I thought people were never going to be at. So I th actually think this is going to be in the shooting range, and it looks like God says probably going to be a hot area. A lot of people going to be at. They're probably all going to be looting. Over there. Here are these first. It looks like they're on the edge of the circle. Alright. All my guns are loaded. I got a helmet on. Got my helmet, got my vest. And let's keep moving on. Hopefully, we find either some more ammo in a backpack and a vest and continue to make it from there. So another cool part about when you close the doors is that you can hear someone walking through the house when they open the door. It's over here. Five, five, six rounds. Perfect. No grenade. Don't need that right now. All graphics site. I'm going to go ahead and attach that to my AKM. Extended mag. And a flash hider. Perfect. So, the other day, me and the guys were actually having a conversation about what material actually does what and how did it, how does it work. So, flash hiders, they actually do hide, hide your flash so you can't get found. Or it makes it harder for you to be found. Oh, I need, oh perfect. Level 2 backpack. Perfect. And oh, I got a got a vest too. That's even better. So now I got my backpack, my vest. Ooh, more medkits. Perfect. So I'm gonna hold on to those until later, just in case I might need them. Oh, so I'm gonna run back over to this other house first. Grab that ammo. Oh, red dot sight. Picking that for my pistol. I need to, I'll change it out for another gun. Those. They can come back over here and grab these bandages and these 5.56 five, rounds. So as you can see now, on the bottom of your map, well, not the bottom of the map, but where your person's uh, ammo is, right there now you can see that it shows exactly what you have on. So if you have on a helmet, a backpack, it shows that. Pretty sure if you uh, add a gas mask, it might help with that. We'll show that too. So 
now. If I can get up here. Alright, there we go. So now I'm going to go ahead and start running where I think the edge of the circle is going to move to. And then from there I'm going to gauge where, where else I want to move from. So far, there's only about 65 people. I'm doing pretty good. 64 now. Doing pretty good. And I'm going to go ahead and lay it down as soon as I make it to these houses. So another cool part about the game that I noticed is energy drinks and painkillers. They actually put your health back up. So energy drinks, basically, you use them. Oh, there's a vehicle. Get out over here. The energy drinks, basically, when you use them, they slowly put your health back up to where you'll be able to move around just, uh, well, not move around. But you'll be able to slowly have your health go back up to where it needs to be. Slowly works its way back up to 100. And as you can see over here in the distance, there's shots being fired. So there's another 61 people left. Pretty sure they ran right over there somewhere. But another cool part that I also learned is it's not about how many kills you have at the end of the game. It's a matter of survival. Think about it. The person normally at the end of the battle royale that normally wins, either they fought the whole game and they're extremely tired and they just had that last little push of strength that they managed, managed to muster up, or they was a smart one and tried to conserve as much energy and stay hidden, unnoticed. I mean, those are just two of the tactics that well, me and my friends been playing that I picked up on and I noticed. And that actually makes you a lot harder to see when, if you're laying in the grass. So, as you can see, my marker is just a little bit over here by where the runes are, and the circle is actually closing. So, luckily I'm already inside the circle, so I'm going to be fine. I'm just going to keep crawling until I actually need to get up and move. I'm trying to stay as invisible, invisible as possible, and not seen. So as you can see over there, they just dropped a crate, so it's probably going to land land somewhere in the circle, which most of the time it does. And if it does, you normally just want to stay. I normally stay away from the packages unless I'm like right there when it drops. And I'm like the only person around and I know I have teammates there to help me. But since I don't, I'm going to just go ahead and stay away from it. So, over to, it sounds like it's coming from the north. Uh, there's a, another gunfight going on in the distance. And it's like very, very quiet, but you can hear it. Oh, there it goes. So, go ahead and just start running now. Now, start low, low running. And I got about like halfway. So, I should be there soon because my character is actually moving pretty quickly. So normally, whenever I hear a car, or I hear a bike, or a buggy, I normally immediately get down. If I see someone, I normally try and avoid them, and just stay, stay from around them. And at least try and go somewhat around them, if need be. Like, if it's at the edge of the water, then I normally just try and uh, roll as much as possible without being seen. Don't get too close to them. Uh, another thing, like, if you're crawling on a hill... You make yourself, uh, depending on where the other person at, if they're on a different hill or an adjacent hill near you, they'll be able to pick up on you very quickly, depending on how well their eyes are and if they notice the slightest movements. There's gunshots going off. 49 people left.
another cool part about the game is that if you stay in the shade, it's a little bit, it's a lot harder for them to notice you. So what I normally do, I try and find a tree, right near a tree in the shade. That way I'm not as noticeable. Just go from there. So one person just died from the player's own clo closing on into him. So there's some more gunshots over there to the east by the ruins most likely. So now go ahead and on my map. So every time I move my marker, me and my friends, we actually have a funny uh bet going on to where we all put our markers on the map and see where the uh game is gonna end. Or basically yeah, basically see where the game is gonna end. So right there there's a person. So he's way out of my range for me to pick him up. But yep, since I'm already in the circle, I see where he's going and I'm gonna either I kind of want to hunt him and hunt him down to see where he's going. But if you look at the buildings over there, they actually already have been raided. So some people, they just leave the doors all all the way open. And when they leave the doors open, it makes it obvious not to go in there because it's just like, oh, there's nothing in here. Now some people actually hide in the building after they raid it and just hope somebody comes in there. Me on the other hand, I like to close the doors and draw them in if I'm in the area. So there's another gunfight over there. That actually sounds pretty close. And as you've seen right there, he just moved into that blue house. I'm gonna just be on the lookout for both of those. Oh, 44 people left. Doing pretty good. Crawling and crawling. So now nah, I think that guy might actually be trying to. Oh, yeah, he might actually be trying to hide in the house. Oh, I see him. and start moving a little bit quicker now at least get to the edge of where that bridge is and then probably I'm gonna jump in the water depending on where the circle is or where it closes at so as you can see I'm really not that far but I want to hurry up and make it before somebody else notices me Hope that's a bush and not a person. So a lot of the bushes, once you get to a far distance, they actually start to look a little bit like silhouette body figures, and they're a little bit harder to notice whether it's a person or not. But I at least want to get over somewhere over here because it looks like there's trees. That area in the forest is a little dense. Over there, there's a car. I'm gonna try and avoid the car and just slowly make my way over into the water and into the trees. So, as you can tell, the circle just closed again and I'm already in it, so that's even better. So now I got another two minutes or so to go ahead and start making my way over to my next checkpoint for myself. So once you're in the water, uh, it kind of makes it a little bit harder for people to notice you. But then once the circle actually starts to get closer and closer and closer, and you're in the water, people are going to start running, swimming, doing whatever they got to do to get to where they need to go. Why can I? Oh, there we go. To get to where they need to go. Some shots actually sounds like they're coming from over there. Probably over 
There's a person right there. So since he just hopped in the water, I'm going to go ahead and start picking him off. Looks like he actually dove underwater. So eventually he's actually going to have to come up on land or he's going to have to go and hide somewhere. Towards like the water bank. And I think that's him moving for some reason. But I'm not. Oh, I see him. get to a better spot. So as soon as he hops up on land, ooh, that shot sounded pretty close. As soon as he gets up high enough on land, I'm actually going to start taking more shots at him. Hear a vehicle coming, and there's another person over there. The vehicle sounds extra close. I don't want to lose sight on him. There's another person over there behind that tree. Once I actually get over here into these buildings or near the buildings, I'm actually going to get up and start running. He's running over there, so now would be a good time to go. Hopefully that guy that was in the water doesn't get up anywhere close to me anytime soon. So this area already been raided. Now, I have heard of people saying that it's best to go ahead and take cars. There's people in those buildings. Uh, I have heard people say it's best to take cars and vehicles and just use those to escape, but... They're very loud, and after a while, you'll just get used to the sound and be able to pick them up easily. And know either to shoot, get down, or run and hide. But right now, I'm going to work my way into the woods. Where I should be more than fine at. And just continue to go hide. So, 29 people. There's about two gunfights. Sounds like one's going on behind me, and then one's going on over here to the east. There's a car, a random car there. I don't like that at all. Yeah, so somebody died. I can see a loot crate right there. Yeah, there's a couple of different gunfights going on. So... I'm going to go ahead and make my way to my marker. Or, matter of fact, I'm going to do one better. Go ahead and lay right here. As I lay right here, I'm just going to be ever so quiet. There goes a car vehicle. I hear it, but I don't see it. And it's making me so nervous right now, but... I just want to stay, you want, you mainly just want to stay calm and not think about it. And basically, what I normally do, I just let people pick, pick each other off until they all die. And then there leaves like two or three of us. So. Player area is restricting in one minute. So whoever's not in the circle, they have about, I say about a minute, 45 seconds. Because if you're close enough, then you have way more time. But if you're far, you probably got about a minute and 45 seconds, depending on how fast the circle closes. There goes that Jeep we are seeing. Just going to ignore it. Hopefully nobody hops out. But you normally, what I do, I normally just try and ignore it because he's making himself a bigger target. He looks like he's coming this way. Now this is the part where you kind of want to have a machete. So you just back, walk up. Oh, and there's somebody else doing him. He looks like he's going to use the drive around tactic. Basically, drive around the whole game is trying not to get picked off. 
you got about they got about five seconds before the uh, circle started to close or yeah about five seconds so in that five seconds whoever is uh yeah i feel like it's going to end right where i'm at hopefully there's about 21 people left my car is just going to be circling around the area until i guess it gets small enough to where he can't get hit Kinda glad I got my police vest, I got my helmet, and I got my backpack. So I, think I just seen something move over here. Look I did. But yep, yeah, so I'ma just go ahead and lay around here. And so So there's already twenty people left. So minus me that's nineteen people. Eighteen people now. So as you can tell, once the circle starts to get smaller and smaller, there's a lot more gunfights and they, there's a lot more people going around. Oh yeah, so that's even better. I'm already in the next circle, so I don't even have to move anything. I think next I might have to move like here, a little bit over here, directly in the middle of the circle, which would be that way. So as you can tell, the person in the car, he stopped. He probably got out and laid down. Nope. I hear him. He sounds extra close. He's like just over over 40, about 40, 50, in between 40 and 15. I hear him. I hear him, but I don't see him. There he goes. Somebody's already taking shots at him. And there's, and there's a sniper somewhere. There's a second car, I think. Oh, oh, so see, right there. So, ooh. So not only did the car blow up, but he actually got killed. And there's a second car somewhere. There it goes. I feel like he's going to suffer the same fate, too. So there's about 13 people left. I'm not going to get up and run, only because I know he was getting shot from over that direction in between those couple trees over here on the top right hand of your screen. And I know he ran over the other guy. I should be alright. I mean, I'm in a bush and I'm like extra hard to find. I mean, me just laying here with the blue pants and this black shirt I got on, I'm pretty hard of a target. Not unless you're just walking and you're looking on the ground. And I hear him honking, honking the horn, so I'm pretty sure he's trying to beat people in to come and get him. So nine people left. There he goes again. Just gonna keep a mental note. I swear I keep thinking somebody's over there. But we're just gonna go ahead and just every now and again start glancing around, making sure everything is alright. So the circle, as you can see, is closing. So that means more people are gonna start running in soon. Well, the last of the eight people are gonna start running in soon. So as soon as it closes a lot more, there's gonna be a lot less people in here. And hopefully, we'll prevail and get the chicken dinner. There goes the circle. So it looks like he switched his car out for another one. We got about a minute and some change to start crawling that way. I'm more than sure that we're going to make it before the circle actually closes. So there was six. There's a dirt bike over in that direction somewhere, probably moving towards the middle of the circle. I'm gonna, as soon as I get close enough, I'm gonna just stay in the woods and just keep my cool, keep my position. There's a car or something coming up this way too. Probably that same guy in the car from earlier. There goes one. But like I said before, you don't want to make yourself known or noticed. So he's dead now. It's one less person I gotta worry about. So there's five of us now. 
pretty sure I didn't make four of us now. I'm pretty sure I didn't make myself too obvious. It was the other car. So it's like when you kill somebody from like th that distance and like their body is just laying there, you kind of want to think about what you really want to do. Do you want to hop out there and go loot them or do you just want to stay and hide for a moment? Let's see what happens. Because I mean, you can always loot them, but it seems like the guy in the car right here, he's pretty set on staying in the car. I'll go ahead and check and see what he got. He got a couple bandages, energy drink, level three backpack. But once you get out of the circle and you're stuck outside the circle, like there goes another guy, and I'm pretty sure he sees me. Just gonna try and avoid him at all costs because I can always lay back down. There goes somebody over there. So once you get outside the circle, they actually start taking out way bigger chunks. So now there's three of us left. There's one guy over there and there's one guy in the car. killed him and now there's two of us and I see the other guy over there camp camping behind the tree so he's out he's outside that circle I'm not so go ahead and use this bandage right quick it's not letting you oh I already got got enough help I'm gonna go ahead and use this drink so he's already throwing grenades at me and stuff to tr probably try and get me off on where he's at, but. And my heart right now is just pounding. So now I gotta crawl over to him because it's only two of us left. So as soon as I see him get up, I'm just gonna start taking off shots at him. <laughs> ah, missed it, damn. But I was close, killed three people, made it to basically the top of the list with only, only about 30 something minutes of gameplay. But I tried. Came in second place. It's really not that bad. I actually feel pretty great. But this is just a short gameplay from me. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and put up a like. Uh, feel free to comment down below. Uh, like and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any gameplay or games that you want uh, you want me to see or I actually take a part of, uh, feel free to let me know. And I'll make it. We'll try and make it. Put it out and uh, see how well y'all like it and see how well it appeals to everyone. But uh, for right now, this is Chief Game a lot, and I'm signing off.